Hey, welcome to the Warrior Review. I am Austin Reams, and I'm here with head coach Shane Boggs, and uh, uh, excited y'all with us, and excited to talk about this game. Um, obviously, we didn't didn't like the results. We had John Millage coming to town, and uh, a, a really good team. Uh, you want to play the best, and they, they're certainly that. But uh, tell me about this game, and and, and just kind of your thoughts going into it, and and how it played out. Well, first of all, when we scheduled this game sometime last year, uh, I just felt like we had a veteran team coming back that, that would have goals of getting to Mercer, and uh, when that's the kind of team you think you have, you need to, you need to play the best. And so uh, we just haven't had a great grasp of what's been going on on the other side of the state in our association. So we scheduled Frederica. That was a great experience for us. Um, and then scheduled Millage as well. But, um, you know, once we got our hands on the tape, I mean, it was obvious to me that this team was just, I mean, first, they're very, very athletic, they're, they're explosive, they're physical, um, they execute really, really well, and they play with a ton of confidence, right? Um, it, was, it was great to go out there and that, you know, not just the first quarter, but um, for, for just so long in the second quarter there, we, we traded punches with them um, and really, I felt like with five minutes to go in the second quarter there, we had outplayed them. Um, but it's a seven-all game, and we haven't, you know, yeah. we hadn't really cashed in on that. But um, we proved, I think, that we we could um, we could play with them, and uh, we also proved that there's not a ton of margin for error. So you make a few mistakes, and it gets away from you. So, coach, you had a lot of standouts this game. It was, it was a lot of fun uh, watching this game. The the energy of the crowd when we were trading punches with a with a team that's won forty something in a row. It really, really uh, built up. It was a fun night. At, at, uh, uh, fun night to be a warrior, um, even though we don't like the results. But who who stood out? Uh, what were some of the players that stood out for you this game? Man, that, there are just so many that uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll leave some guys out. But I mean, I, I think it probably you know Grant Gaston, who's had an amazing career here. He played so well on both sides of the ball. It's so easy to see when he's making plays defensively out in space and catching it. But a lot of times people aren't seeing what he's doing in the run game, and uh, he had some critical blocks that helped us <clears throat> help that stuff uh, go for us. I thought Raj played his best game against the best team, which is which is a, a, a great thing for him. TJ and Destin both have had, again, great years, great careers, and they both made, made plays all over the place. Uh, I thought Chapman played really well. I thought Camden played really well. I, you know, I could go on and on. Rex made some big plays for us, but um, just a ton of guys. And I think we're at a point where we're seeing great things from all of them, but we're also, and this includes our coaches, that we, we, we've got a few things we need to fix um, that, that really just get – exaggerated when you're playing a team as good as this one. One of the things I was showing Raj and Grant yesterday when we met is that um, from a, they're just, there are so many things that we did so much better against Millage than we did when we won 53 to six against Weewa, right? Yeah. But you don't see it on the scoreboard because of who you're playing. Yeah. So um, that's why one of the things that makes me excited about continuing down this path with them, I think that um, I do think iron sharpens iron, and I think that um, you know th this game will pay because we didn't get a bunch of people hurt. This game's going to be very um, beneficial for us down the road when we the speed of the game slows back down a little bit and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's take a look at the highlights: uh, Brookwood versus John Millage Academy. All right. So we're in blue uh, here at home. Uh, we get the opening kickoff and get it out to the 32-yard line. Um, game planned a little bootleg right here to get the ball potentially to TJ. He does a great job um, breaking tackles and gets out around the 50, so pretty good start for us. What a game he had. Yeah, he had another great game. Great job by Raj and Rex. This is an RPO kind of run pass um, option, and uh, we had the hitch. He took it, uh, go off tackle here to the left with TJ. Um, throw it back out here, miss that one. And then uh, go with the power play over there to the right, and fourth and short. Fourth and short. We throw the hitch. They were lo they were off, so we took it. And um, again, a, just a great start. Um, missed a protection and just barely missed what what could yeah, have that's... very easily been a touchdown on a wheel route there, to TJ. Um, I the, like how patient Raj is in this drive in this game. He's doing a he's doing a way better job handling. I mean, a, a really good box where they they got some pressure on us. They were able to get home a few times, but he did a great job. Made some big times throws while he was getting hit. 
Um, turn it over on downs there, but a great start by our defense. You'll see Grant, man, what a night he had. Yeah. Um, just great effort. He got that from, from the defensive end, made that tackle, right? Absolutely. So uh, good job here. Um, Caden's involved there. Camden's involved. Uh, Caden with another, another nice tackle. Really good job in coverage. So we got him in third and eight here. DJ gets a pick. So really good, really good job. Had a great nine play drive on offense. We get the turnover there on D. Raj pulls it down, runs for a couple. So second and eight, right around midfield. Um, throw the screen over there to Destin. We're in a manageable situation around third and five. Man, I'd love for this ball to be out in front a little bit. Um, ran a bunch of double slant type stuff. <clears throat> uh, throw for the first there. Um, great throw and catch out in the flat. And this is awesome. Yeah, that's really incredible good job throw fit, and catch. Fitting it in a window there to Grant off of a sweep look. Um, they've added another guy to the box here, but TJ really does a great job um, breaking tackles. And <clears throat> um, here we are in long yardage. We take a sack, throw the screen over here to TJ and uh, get some of it back, but we're in a third and 14. We end up missing the field goal. He hit it really solid. Um, thought the percentages yeah, were we'll, fourth and 14. We'll see it here or there. Yeah, it was a great kick and just... Just missed it a little right. We had a penalty on the previous play to that, so um, probably a critical penalty for sure. Um, good job of Destin right there. And just really doing a great job running to the football here. So um, Rex with a, I think that was Oscar Thompson. Um, Coming up on the edge there. And Grant and Grant and Caden again. And I really feel like the defense got a lot of confidence from all this. Um, well, yeah, two big stops early on against a team that's been a, just a scoring machine. They've been in so many games where they up yeah. 50 in the second quarter and end up subbing. Um, so uh, they have scored here at seven nothing. Uh, kick it to us. Hit hit TJ on the slant. Another uh, tight window. Absolutely. Um, Raj pulls that one down, and um, we really should have went to the screen back the uh, up top right there. But um, <clears throat> really good job. There's a great example of you know he got a little pressure. Steps up in the pocket, throws it. Throws the post to Destin, who ran a great route. Yep. Um, Here's the slow-mo here. Uh, I, I like how when Destin gets out in front, um, I mean, it's, nobody's going to catch him. Yeah, so it's over. Um, and you start to see him pull away That's right. Here. <laughs> We're pulling away. So great, uh, great way to respond uh, to a great team. And we got down 7 nothing, and, and really didn't flinch. And, um, overcame third and long, threw the touchdown, seven all game here. Go for the onside kick. Rex gets it. Um, great execution. Oscars had so many great kicks. Um, and that was another one for sure. Over the years. And, um, we did not take advantage of that uh, great field position there. But uh, fast forward in here, we throw it out in the flat to TJ. Um, just miss on another slant there to Grant and throw the comeback route here. Um, really good protection, great throw and catch. Um, throw in the slant again. Uh, back over there to the slow screen, back on the back side, kind of a jailbreak type screen. Um, great block by Chapman there. Absolutely. Um, Jackson Vaughn was out there as well, uh, out in front. Good read, um, good throw. Get, they say we're they say we're down just inside the one here. Yeah, and, when, uh, when the pylon goes down. <laughs> I, yeah. So uh, we lose a yard or so. Go speed option back this way, and uh, really good by TJ. Just the angle, uh, breaking a couple tackles there. We did a good job on the perimeter blocking, and so we've responded to their first score of the. Um, second half there, but um, fast forward into the fourth quarter. 
Um, you see a pick here. Awesome pick by Rex. <clears throat> and um, Rods checks it down to Caden. Caden gets the first down. Um, again, using motion the other way, throwing the screen back over here to TJ, and um, he gets picks up probably 20 or so. Um, just missed over there on, <clears throat> on that comeback route again. Um, throw it out in the flat. Great block here by Nick Clark. Um, really Fantastic. Good to, really good by TJ as well, and we, we score on what was the last play of the game. So... All right, Coach, that was the final. Uh, uh, we lost this game, but kind of give me your thoughts as, as we look at this uh, game film and kind of thoughts on the game ending up. Well, I think there's a couple ways of looking at it. I mean, there's a lot of positives in that just how well we competed for 18 to 20 football minutes. Um, our guys played really, really hard on defense. We had the nine-play drive. We ended up finishing, I think, the third drive there to get the score. Um, did so many great things early. Um, you know, from a but but even within that 18 minute run there, we missed on just I mean, we're an inch away from yeah. closing the deal on the wheel route touchdown, just some things like that. So we had some opportunities early to take the lead. Um, but even within that, they score, we end up, you know, matching the score. We get the onside kick. We got great opportunity. But, you know, there's also so many things that we got to focus on in that little four minute stretch there in the second quarter where things just got away from us. I mean, we made. You make mistakes against a team this good, and it, they're going to make you pay, right? So yeah. it went from seven all and us in really a scoring situation down there to 28 to seven at halftime. I was really, really proud of how our team did respond, even in the field house. We came out and still played really, really hard and did some great things in the second half. But, um, you know, all in all, we played a great team. Um, we made enough mistakes to where they were able to pull away from us, but I think we did enough things well to where we could be really encouraged about this region run we have. Yeah, you got a big uh, region uh, region game coming up. You're playing Deerfield, and to me, I think you uh, really set the path of um, of a lot of things you can hang your hat on that you love. You love the defensive effort. You love. Um, that our offense can do some ball control. I mean, there's all kinds of neat things. If, if you can do it against those guys, you can do it against anybody else. So you, you're setting a path. So let's talk about that big Deerfield game you got. Yeah, so Deerfield back in our region, uh, first time in a few years here. And, um, you know, I see a very athletic team uh, that we're going to be preparing for. They've got a three-year starter at quarterback. Um, really good player there. But, I mean, they're, 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 they're really good at all the levels. Um, I don't think they're overwhelmingly big, but they're when I what jumps out at me is just the athleticism and kind of the creativity and diversity they play with on both sides of the ball. But um, I think it's going to be a, a, just an amazing matchup um, that we get the first region week, you know. So I'm sure it'll be one of those games that comes down to one or two plays. So, Coach, you got an open week to uh, prepare. Um, how's that going? How how are we looking? Kind of coming in into the open week, coming into the Deerfield game. Well, I think in terms of how people manage open weeks, I mean, usually everybody I know is going to, you know, you're going to you're going to have some element of kind of catch your breath. But um, earlier in the season, you probably work a few more fundamentals during this week. Um, the later, in, if you're open weeks later, you try to get a little bit of more game prep on whoever the next opponent is, particularly if it's region week. And so for us, it's going to be it's going to be a little bit of all of that, right? I mean, we. Um, we will have some fundamental periods throughout this week. We will have some, some deer field prep throughout this week. And then we're also going to have some correction, just kind of correcting some mistakes from, from what we've had in the last couple of weeks. But um, I, I can't say enough about the, the purpose and, and just uh, the drive that our kids continue to show. And I'm just really excited about continuing down this road with them. All right. Well, we're uh, looking forward to that game, looking forward to region play. And we will see you next week on the Warrior Review.